everyone welcome back to another video if you're new to my channel my name is miss tamika i upload videos once a week which is sunday and then i also throw in bonus videos throughout the week and with that being said you all i am here to share things that i have bought on amazon and i'm loving and i wanted to share because i heard through the grapevine that Amazon is about to have prom, prom day is coming. So I wanted to get on here and share my Amazon favorites with you all. So when prom time comes, y'all can go ahead and click on Miss Tamika's Amazon store. I'm going to have everything that I share here um, in this here favorites. I'm going to have it listed in my store so it can be easy for y'all just to click on the item and go ahead and purchase. I mentioned is Miss Tamika approved. So if you here for my Amazon favorites, then y'all know what y'all need to do. Y'all need to click on my subscribe button you all because it really, 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 really helps out my channel. Any particular order because if y'all saw the mess, it's a mess over here start off with my electric toothbrush i don't know what made me decide to purchase a um, electric toothbrush be going back to a regular toothbrush anymore after using an electric toothbrush y'all will understand what i'm talking about well i got this hair from amazon and i like this one because you do have a um electric toothbrush i did get this hair from amazon i will be linking this in my amazon store just in case you want to purchase one for yourself but i'm just say you all i love 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 so much it has a lot of different features on this particular electric toothbrush white feature clean sensitive polish and massage y'all i love this so so much and this is the one that like cleans away plaque on your teeth and stuff like that and it came together y'all know i love something that comes together with something so yeah you all this hair is one of my amazon favorites so moving on to my next item you all these here are my coconut bowls i did showcase these here on my channel my acai bowls it's like the perfect size for an acai bowl it do come with spoons i forgot to bring them in here you all i'm sorry but they do come with like two um like little wooden spoons if you like fruits acai bowls and things like that then i would highly recommend something like this i would try and insert a picture of one of my acai bowls inside of this hair particular item so you can get a visual of how it looks but y'all i love my coconut bowls again amazon i will link it in my store to my next item you all this hair was one of the solid bowls i got off of amazon it came in a set of two they were a little pricey i mean they were like 27 or 30 dollars with tax um but they're really nice because if y'all didn't know i'm extra like i like to look pretty i would pay you know to have that pretty backdrop i like to have everything looking nice anytime i showcase stuff on my channel i like to I like the presentation to be on point if you get what I'm saying. Don't need a bowl like this to eat salad, but again, I'm extra, so I wanted something extra. I'm leaning back because I wanted you to see the full effect of this here bowl, which is I will insert a picture so y'all can see how my salad looks in this particular bowl. I ended up finding another shape at, I think it was TJ Maxx or Marshalls. So I do use, I go between this one and my, um, one I found at TJ Maxx and Marshall. So yeah, you all, this here is also really cute if you like myself. Because I like taking pictures of everything. Like I'm that person when my food come out, come out, I'm like, hold up, let me take a picture. Or hold up, let me do this. Or hold up, let me do that. So that's why I'm that person that will buy cute stuff for my, um, you know, like my acai bowl. Like you don't need a coconut bowl to make an acai bowl. You can use a regular damn bowl. But me, I'm just extra. I had to get a coconut bowl. To my next item, which is these hair glass straws. I brought like a set of four. And this is what I use for my um, coffee. My son this morning was funny. He was like, Mom, why you got to make all that ice sound? Because I'm that person that would twirl my straw and my iced coffee make that noise shake it and all that like i'm that person i'm not i'm sure i'm not the only one that a twirl my um straw in my coffee make that ice sound and all of that so i wanted something clear and cute and then i also like the uh, glass straws because of the fact that you can see through them just in case food gets stuck in them like coffee um you don't necessarily have to use this just for coffee because i know everyone don't drink coffee but also use these um in just regular juices because my daughter don't drink coffee but she will use this in like her regular juice cups so yeah you all 
I love my glass straws. I will link them down below. So we done. Okay, no, one more thing. And these here, you all, oh my gosh, game changer. If you have a pantry, you have to get something like this. I will link these down below. These here are OXO. I don't know how you pronounce it or how you say it. But um, game changers for anyone that has a pantry. Because um, now I do like the basket look, like the um, wicker baskets. I do like that look. But of course, I invested in these and this here. These here are investment pieces. <laughs> like they are, they're not cheap. If I ever built my house, I want a really big pantry so I can see me using half of what i already have and then incorporating some baskets because i do like the basket look like i do have some baskets in my pantry um but yeah mention these you can also put labels on the front and labels because i kind of switch out certain containers with different things so for right now i just have them bare and i do have a cricket i need to pull that out and start using it because i can make some like really really cute um labels to go across these hair containers but i love my clear containers again i will link them in my store we're on like the acrylic clear containers i'm going to mention these here bling brushes you all i did showcase this here on my channel you all when i tell you this has been the best purchase ever because it keeps my brushes um covered as you can see because dust come from somewhere i have vents in my room so i'm sure dust sprinkles out every so often i want dust on my brushes because these here are my display brushes um i don't use these as of yet that may change but for right now these here are my display brushes that i showcase here on my slate my slate station heavy um i will try and link the one that comes with the bees because when i first purchased this it didn't come with bees so i went to michael's and got my own and then once i started doing a little more research i saw that these hair containers came along with a bag of bees and this is what this hair looks like with the bees i recommend the bees with this hair particular case holder because it helps to keep the brushes like standing straight up because with the bees the brushes won't stand straight up so yeah you all i highly recommend this hopefully i can still find it and it's still available because i did purchase that a while ago i'm gonna go ahead and move on to electronics electronics but this is what i use like when i'm um editing my videos these here are blue light glasses this is what i wear when i edit my videos when i'm at my computer all day or if i'm um to youtube videos i like to use these here blue light glasses i will link these also down below so like if you are a content creator that edit videos or always on your computer i highly recommend blue light glasses you all next item um I have a lot of filming equipment. I didn't purchase this all at one time. Keep in mind, I have been filming for a very, very, very long time. And if y'all didn't know, I am filming with my Canon 70D. That's the camera that I use to film my sit-down videos. And the camera that I use to vlog is my is my Sony. Uh, what is this? Sony ZV E10. Sony ZV E10. This is what I use to vlog. I did have the um, ZV-1 or something like that. I ended up selling that particular camera. There was nothing wrong with it, you all. But I was on YouTube. I was watching this girl unbox a camera. And if y'all didn't know, I love electronics. Like, electronics is my thing. Dang, like charts. I love TVs. I love all of that stuff. So when she did an unboxing on her camera, I was like, oh my gosh, I want it. So I felt like I didn't want to keep both cameras because I do still have my Canon G7X because I'm trying to get my oldest son to start doing YouTube. He's Muslim and I feel like he has a lot to teach and share. So keep that particular camera and I felt like I didn't need to keep the Sony ZV-1. So I ended up selling. I think I put it on Poshmark. I forgot where I put it at but it's so quick like within minutes and i was like okay good no it sold within a day i'm not gonna say within minutes it sold within a day so i was like okay good like i felt good about purchasing this once i was able to sell that and if i didn't sell it i still was purchasing this here camera i do like this a lot better only because of the fact that the lens 
you can um, switch out the lens I don't see myself switching this out to like a really bigger lens but if you want to you can your screen that comes out on the side and I think the Sony ZV-1 was the same but I did get this off of Amazon and I will try and link this down below if I can but if not I will link the Sony ZV-1 because that camera is just, just as nice it's just that I wanted to upgrade if it wasn't for me watching that YouTube video I would have kept my Sony ZV-1 and then I also wanted a white camera now I'm loving my white camera but having a white camera is high maintenance you all because you got to watch like for me I wear makeup like I got to make sure my hands are clean and everything like that but I also make sure I wipe it down like with a wipey or something like an alcohol wipe um, just to like keep it clean because it is a white camera got the tripod that came along that didn't come along with it but it was sold separately but of course I had to get it because um, with this particular tripod you can um, power on your camera you can take pictures from this tripod like you can do a lot on this here tripod because it's an actual remote for this particular camera this here is I think only made for Sony cameras I think Canon have um, something similar to this particular um, tripod the only thing is it doesn't like sit high you can't make it like adjust you can't adjust it where it can go like high up or whatever for what I want to use it for because like I said I just use it for vlogging around my house and when I'm out and about and I usually throw this in my purse this is why I like carrying an extra bag when I'm out and about that's why I love my new bag that I just did an unboxing on so I can throw stuff like this inside of there link this down below and I also and I also will link my Canon 70D if it's still available to upgrade my sit down camera only because I just don't need to because it serves its purpose long as you got good filming lights and everything like so then you're good to go I'm, I will also leave my lights down below too I can't show them because that's what I'm using to film with but y'all when I tell you have a vlogging camera like this or a um, Canon DSLR you start a YouTube channel with your iPhone yes I'm telling you your iPhone and moving on to the next item this is this is by Manfrotto iPod like you can actually start a YouTube channel with an iPhone you all you don't need all the fancy equipment that person if I'm going to do it I'm going to do it right but if you like I said when I first started you all keep in mind I was using my MacBook the footage from my MacBook versus now is totally different is of course way way better I wasn't looking to start a career with YouTube so it was just like okay let me pull out my um iMac and let me go ahead and film really quick or whatever but if you want to start filming YouTube and want to take it serious I highly recommend starting off with lights and again I will link them down below because all you need is lights and a good tripod you do need a tripod if you do start off with using your iPhone because you want something where you can you know press record and sit down and talk when I take my outside pictures you all I do use my iPhone because my iPhone do take good pictures my DSLR or my Sony as of yet because I don't really know the best settings for those particular cameras to take um, pictures and like I said my iPhone 12 Pro Max works perfectly fine here is another good tool to have just in case you want to film TikTok videos in your house like if you want to do cooking videos you can tilt this hair down hang it over your food so yeah you all this here is another nice this here is a really good tripod this is the tripod I was using with my Canon before I purchased my Sony so yeah this is the one I had first and if I didn't mention this here is an iPhone um iPhone um holder take this off. all you have to do is unscrew it and you can screw your camera because most of the cameras have like a little screw at the bottom where you can attach it to a tripod moving on to my next item you all is my canon remote oh my gosh you all you need a remote you can also use you can also bluetooth remotes to your iphone because i also have another tripod with a ring light that i use the remote for when i'm on my patio that's what i use to take my outside pictures I outside my daughter usually take them depending on how she feels me sometimes you don't want to bother nobody get yourself a remote i use this canon remote for my canon camera and like i said my tripod i will link that one down below as well because that one also comes with a remote and you can use that to take pictures of yourself y'all you can download remotes with um 
on like your iPhone, but I just use the remote that comes along with the tripod because it's like a Bluetooth feature. If you have a Canon like myself, you have to have a remote because I used to have to get up, press the button because I had this my second time purchasing this. I don't know what happened to the first one, but I had to repurchase because it's a must when you're filming videos. The next item is my mic. This is what I use to film video. I did buy this hair tripod separately because at first I had my mic on top of my Canon camera, but I ended up taking it off because I like it here in front of me. Portable mic, but for some reason it had stopped working. So I ended up just to film my videos instead of using that mic that attached to my clothes because I felt because I had to hide the um what was it? I had to like hide the uh cords all the time and you can hear it like rubbing up against my clothes so I like this one here better it will link this down below or something better if it's still available until my next item is these here um light oh my gosh you all oh my gosh like if I ever get a house built God willing one day that's what I want is a house built and I'm going to actually have recess lights underneath my cabinets but for right now I'm in a apartment so I wanted that look and I ended up purchasing these and it's peel like the little sticky thing off the bottom and you just stick them wherever you want I stick them underneath my cabinet because I like that look you can use these like in your closets um, pantries like you know anywhere where it's dark all you do is tap the button and it turns on like this because I do have two under my kitchen cabinets and it also comes with a remote it changes colors it's just beautiful um, if you do have a house and don't have those lights underneath, I highly recommend this because it just looks so nice and it shines. And oh my gosh, you all best purchase ever. So again, I will link that down below. And to one of my last items, it's this hair Dyson. Investment ever. And I say investment because this hair is a pricey vacuum. So much like I will never go back to a court a cord vacuum or a bag vacuum because remember back in the day you had the vacuums that had the bags you had the vacuums with the cord we used to have to wrap it up and nope no 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 not with the dyson all you do is um plug up your dock somewhere i do have my dock in my closet when i'm done i can actually charge it while it's on its dock when it was in the laundry room i had an outlet in there and i was trying to figure out ways to uh you know make it work but i just couldn't do it because i'm not an electrician and i didn't want to run a stension cord and all of that so i was just like you know what it can go on my closet so that's where i keep it like in my closet and i just stick it like place it back on the dock and the um charging port goes right here it's the best purchase ever like oh my gosh if y'all are using a traditional bag cord type of vacuum Get yourself a Dyson. I'm telling you, you would thank me later. So I will link this in my Amazon. I will link this in my Amazon store. Put on to my next item, you all. Y'all know I'm a diehard fan of my Apple Watch. Like, it's times where I'm like, okay, I miss wearing a traditional watch. But I feel like with my watch, I would be naked without it. So my Apple Watch. And with that being said, you all, I grabbed this here cute um, bling uh, band. I got off of Amazon. I will link it down below. If you like myself, I told you I'm extra. I would highly recommend something like this that sparkles and shines all at the same time. If y'all didn't know, I am wearing my red apple band from the actual um a uh, actual apple band watch. Like this was this is one of the apple band watches that I was able to get at um TJ Maxx because every so often you would catch Apple bands at TJ Maxx and I was able to catch this red and when I tell you it's my favorite and it also goes really well with my watch this on my Apple watch as well so I will link this down below on to my last and final item which is my Nespresso machine you all I did get a second Nespresso the first one I got from I think it was Nordstrom's or Bloomingdale's the second one I ended up purchasing off of Amazon. I will link that down below you all. Hands down, my favorite, favorite Nespresso machine. Did keep my first Nespresso machine. Um, I ended up buying another one. Did I need it? No, you all. But I got it. And I love it so, so much. So I will also link that down below for you all. So if you have a Carrick, I highly recommend upgrade into a Nespresso. Because once you go Nespresso, you will not go back. I'm telling you. 
best purchase ever it's crazy because i can't believe i love coffee as much as i do as a little girl i hate I hated coffee. Like, I hated the smell of it and everything. And look, I drink coffee. I hope y'all enjoyed my Amazon favorites. If you do decide to purchase during the um, Amazon, what is it, Amazon Prime Day, down below, what you looking to purchase. Um, and I think I'll be purchasing some things too. And if I do, of course, you know I got you. I'm going to share here on this channel. Being said, you all, please give this video a big thumbs up because it really, 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 really helps on my channel. And also, before you go, please don't forget to click on that subscribe button and that notification bell. That's right, that notification bell. So you can be what? Notified each week. That's right, you all. Each week, your girl uploads videos. And until next time, and there will be a next time, I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.